good afternoon Periscope friends. I wanted to take a minute and just give you a little bit story regarding this new initiative started by one of our my fellow Emerald ambassadors Molly Orr. I think this is really awesome. This Plexus Project X. I just went and got my nails done for the cruise this weekend with a bunch of Plexus friends and did the red thumbnail and I want to tell you why this really hit home for me first of all I'm completely guilty I'm one of those people who thinks I can be behind the wheel and just do some voice texting or you know answering texts at a stoplight and then the light turns and you kind of finish up real quick I'm pretty bad about that so I started thinking about it and I really felt like a hypocrite because 10 years ago my son and I were in an accident I had picked him up at school and I was running really late from work and so I didn't pick up my two younger ones. I have three boys and I had asked Ben to pick up the two younger ones and it was a fluke. That never happened. You know, I don't know if it's the right or the left. I don't think it matters, but I did the right. I, I Hopefully I did this right. I guess we'll find out. But um. Ben picked up my two younger boys and I had a minivan at the time and I picked up Grant the oldest and we were all going to meet at church for a Wednesday night dinner and it was a very rare thing for me to have Ben pick up the boys so we were sitting at a stoplight and there was a all I mean literally Grant and I were talking and all of a sudden I don't remember anything but waking up in oncoming traffic where we had gotten shoved forward and moved over. The bottom line is a lady had just glanced for a minute at something. I think she had dropped something and she slammed into us going 45 miles an hour. So at the end of the accident, it turned out where the back of the van was completely shoved up against the front seat. Grant and I, it completely busted the front seats off of the whatever they're on. I don't know much about cars, but we were laying on our backs looking up. So had my two younger boys been in that back seat, I really shudder to think what could have happened. And it was totally a God thing because I always picked them up. But on this particular day, Ben picked them up for me. So I ought to know better because I was in an accident caused by a distracted driver. So I am absolutely making the pledge, many of us, and yes, we are gonna challenge, there you go, Ben, I'm challenging all the ambassadors, including my husband, every ambassador that we know to also take this pledge. And uh, I apologize, I saw some names pop up and they went by really quick and they're gone now. So if you're willing, you're in, good. If you're willing to take this challenge with the rest of us in Plexus and put the phone down in the car, show me some hearts, let me know you're in, let me know you're going to do it. I think it's a great, great initiative. And um, honey, I'm gonna make you paint your nail. I'm really gonna, I'm gonna make my husband paint. Hey, if Tarl painted his nail and if Alec painted his whole thumb, Ben Aki, you can paint your nail. So there's nothing, you know, sometimes I think we feel like we try and be so, yay, Nita, Dennis is gonna have a red thumb. We try and be such good leaders and we try to be available to our teams and our customers. But if you ever watch the AT&T It Can Wait video, it's absolutely true. And yes, mom ambassadors, I think we should all do this and set an example because I think probably if we were really honest, about 90% of us are guilty of this. So. Um, I feel pretty bad when I think about it and when I saw that video I feel like a real hypocrite because my family you know Grant and I didn't have any serious injuries we just were a little banged up but if my other two kids had been in the car it would have been really tragic so man ambassadors especially since Ben wants me to challenge all the man ambassadors and I'm challenging my entire team for sure and anyone else out there who wants to take part in this, it's a great initiative. It's a great reminder. Put the phone down. There's nothing earth shattering that can't wait until we pull over. So I'm not even connecting my phone to the Bluetooth and the Lexus anymore. I'm shutting off the Bluetooth. When I get in this car, the phone's going to get put away unless Ben's driving and I'm in the passenger seat. And anything that's going on can wait. So love you guys and have a great weekend. And if you're coming with us on the Plexus Friends Fit Living Cruise this weekend, yay, Plexus Kim is in. I will see you guys Sunday, okay? Have a great weekend. Bye, everybody.
it can wait.